Hi and welcome back. The 7 segment display, SSD from now on, is a device that contains 7 LCDs in a pattern that makes it possible to create a number from 0 to 9 by enabling or disabling them. Commonly, SSDs also contain a dot LED at the bottom right corner, so they should probably be called 7 plus 1 segment displays or something like that. It is possible to combine multiple SSDs to create multi-digit displays. Although we can use LCD displays as we saw in lecture 25, SSDs are much brighter and easier to read even from a distance. In this lecture, we will build on our knowledge from lecture 60, where you learn how to use a shift register in order to control multiple LEDs using only three wires. One for data, one for clock, and one for the latch. Because there are so many SSDs out there, I would assume that you don't have your particular display's data sheet and have no idea which pin controls which LED. I will describe the process of figuring out the correct wiring and then constructing the numerical symbols in the sketch. In the demo for this lecture, we will end up constructing a circuit that looks like the one in this schematic. You can use this schematic to wire up the 595 shift register to the Arduino, but wiring the shift register to the SSD depends on how the SSD is made. There are a couple of main types, the common cathode and the common anode. The one that I happen to use is the common anode variety, in which the middle pins of each row is connected to the positive voltage. I will explain how to figure out which one you have further down. Another consideration is power. You will potentially have up to 8 LEDs lit at one time, and if you decide to add more SSDs, you will have multiples of 8. If each LED requires 50 milliamps of current, you will need a total of 120 milliamps, which the Arduino can't provide. In the schematic, I have attached a breadboard power supply from which I power the LEDs and the shift register. You can also connect a power supply to the Arduino via its battle connector, and this can provide power to the breadboard via the 5 volt pin. Ok, let's start by trying to figure out what kind of 7 segment display we have. Is this a common anode or a common cathode? The way we're going to check this out is um, to use a button battery and um, check out the polarity of the LED that we're plugging into it. Of course, with this one here, the LED, I can see that that lake is longer than that. Therefore, this pin is the anode and that is the cathode. And when I use the battery to plug it in, I can see that the LED works when the long leg, the anode, is plugged to the positive side of the battery. So it's the same idea, that the uh, same uh, method that I'm going to use to figure out what kind of um, seven segment display I have. So I know for a fact that the, the middle pin of this display on the top and the bottom row, both rows, is common. So um, these pins are either going to be both anodes or both cathodes. So I'll start by plugging it in. And Get a jumper wire to connect one of the two middle pins, let's say this one here. Just use red for that. And I'll use a black, I'm going to plug the black one. I'll plug the black one on um, any other pin. Doesn't really matter which one it is, as long as it's not uh, one of the middle pins. So now, grab the battery. I'll start by putting the red wire on the positive side and the black wire on the negative. So you can see that it lights up. We've got this segment lit, which means that this is the anode. So this is an anode, a common anode uh, seven segment display. All right, so far, so good. Let's continue with the wiring. So. I have my um, 595 shift register chip here, so what I want to do is to connect 
uh, each one of the segments, the pins that represent the segments to uh, one of the pins, uh, one of the data pins on the shift register. And I just noticed that I've got the dot here on the top right. I'd really like it to be in the bottom, sorry, top left. I'd really like it to be in the bottom right. So I'm going to just uh, flip that over. Okay, so now the, uh, the dot LED is at the bottom. Make sure I'm still connected to the middle pin with the red wire. Yeah, plug that here. So the way that I typically do it is to try and figure out, I start with the dot, to so try to figure out which pin uh, activates uh, the dot LED. Again, I'll, I'll use a, like a yellow wire. I'll start, let's say, with this pin is my battery. Okay, that's going to be the cathode. And the red is the anode. You can see that the dot is activated. So the pin that I've got the yellow wire connected to is um, the one that activates the dot. So I'm going to plug that into uh, pin 15 on the, on the shift register, this pin right here. Actually get a a shorter pin, I'll use Y for that, so it's shorter. Right, like that. Then I'm going to continue clockwise for the bottom part at least, and then anti-clockwise for the top. Just uh, uh, that method of connection makes sense to me. So the second pin, uh, the bottom right next to the white pin, which is the, the dot, Use orange for that. You can connect that to pin number one on the shift register, which is data one. I'll plug that down here, give a bit of space. Okay, and continue like that. I'm going to be mixing the colors because I don't have too many jumper wires on the same the same color. Just be careful. Skip the middle pin in the bottom row of pins. I must plug that in. So skip that and move to the next one. That goes to pin number two on the shift register. Take a blue. Pin number three. Then I'm going to continue the top row. I'm going to start from uh, this pin here, then move to the one next to it, skip the common anode, then connect that, and finally that, and done. So let's grab a yellow for that. So this will go to pin number four, shift register. Wait, goes to five. Skip mode. That goes to six. And finally, that goes to seven. Right. So all the pins are connected. Next, I need to. Uh, provide power to the LED. So I'm going to use a resistor, 220 ohms or thereabouts, to connect the common anode to the positive rail. Just to reduce the wire count, I'm going to plug that directly from the resistor onto the positive rail, just like that. All right. I don't need to connect the bottom one because remember that they are they are common. But you could, if you wanted, that way you can um, distribute the load to both the top and the bottom uh, common anode. All right, so I'm finished with connecting the seven segment display to the shift register. The next thing to do is to connect the shift register to the Arduino. You may remember from lecture sixty that we need to use three wires for this connection. So we need um, the data pin, we need the uh, latch pin, and the clock. So looking at my notes from back then, I'm going to use uh, longer wires for this. Um, so look at my notes from lecture 60. Uh, the IC pin 14, which is... Um, this one here, right next to data pin zero. So this needs to go to Arduino pin eight here. 
use a green for the next one. So um, I see pin 12, which is a latch. This one here goes to uh, doing a pin 9. And okay, I'll use I'll use a red one. Um, finally, the IC pin thirteen. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This one here will go to. Uh, I don't know pin ten. Okay, I'll do a check to make sure I've got them correctly inserted. So, all right, let's move on to the sketch now.